Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my summer must-haves for both makeup and hair. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with hair and the two first products that I'm going to talk about are two things that will really hydrate your hair during the summer. If you're in and out of the ocean, in and out of the salt water, it tends to dry your hair out or if you're like me and you bleach your hair or you put highlights in it, these two products will make your hair have such a difference and it will dry straight, it won't be frizzy. I swear by these two. So the first thing is my Matrix shampoo and conditioner. It's moist to be rich. They are my favorite thing ever. I have little travel size ones. Actually, these aren't travel size. They're 10 fluid ounces, but I ship my bag through. So I take these with me everywhere I go, but yes, must. The second product that I really, really like is this Revlon Super 10, I think is what the name of it is. It's a hair mask. I will link everything that I am talking about in the description box so you guys can click on it and go purchase it if you would like to give it a try. Um, these, This has 10 benefits to it, it says on the side. Um, it's not greasy, which a lot of hair masks I feel like can make my hair greasy afterwards if you don't get it all out. This I have not experienced with. This is my like fifth container, I think. I love it. Um, it helps with the silkiness and smoothness, hydrates it, absorbs within three minutes. So I leave it on for normally five just to make sure that it gets in there and your hair just comes out so smooth. And also, I don't wash my hair every day. I know every girl probably doesn't. So you do have those uh, dry shampoo kind of days. Is this direct flight. Um, dry shampoo. It's by IGK. It is amazing. It smells absolutely <sighs> just smells so great. I love it. It doesn't make your hair feel greasy. It doesn't make your hair feel gross. It just does what it needs to do and makes your hair feel like you just walked out of a shower. My last hair must have is my Babyliss Nano Titanium Curling Iron. It's the clampy one. I don't actually use the clamp, I just wrap it around and use it like a wand. It's super easy if you want those beach curls and they last forever. These two together, dream team. So moving on to my summer must-haves for my makeup. I am not a type of person that likes to wear a lot of foundation during the summer. I don't like it being cakey, I don't like it feeling like wet on my skin. So I use um, this mineral BB cream, it's by Kula. It has an SPF of 30, it's tinted, so it's a tinted sunscreen is what it pretty much is. And you don't need to put, it may, oh, it feels so good on your skin. It's light, it doesn't cake, it doesn't crease. You don't need to put, um, you can, but I don't put any powder on top of this. This is fine on its own to go to the beach. It's protection on your skin, great. Like I said, I don't really put a lot of um, powder on my face. If anything, it'll be translucent powder. So my next thing is my Estee Lauder blush. It's pure color envy. I'm pretty sure they do not make this color anymore. I have completely ran out of it. It's like, as you can see, it's down to the crumbs of the blush. So I, if they made this color and if I can find it on Amazon, I will buy it because I'm obsessed. This is my like third one. Another thing that I use a lot during the summer just to make my my tan on my body match my face is this MAC bronzing powder in this in the shade Refined Golden. I'm obsessed with it. It's a really pretty color. I don't know if you can see it, but it's awesome for the summer. It gives you that really nice shiny tan and yes, great. So if I'm just running out of the door during summer and I'm just going to the beach or I'm going to a casual dinner, I'll throw on some BB cream and this Glossier Lip Balm.com. It is a lifesaver. I have I ordered one and fell in love with it, and now there's three more on the way. And if I'm going for a little bit more of a, if I'm going to a bit of a fancier dinner, but I don't want to get too ready. I just put some BB cream on, and if I want a little lip color, I put faux on. It goes with everything. It's a beautiful color, must have in my makeup kit. So that concludes this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye!